Well, Brent and Sarah, the video is showing the intense moments leading up to that shooting. It also shows how quickly things took a turn Saturday morning here in Middletown. We want to warn you that the video and audio may be disturbing to some viewers. Can you put that down, please? What? Just after 6.30 Saturday morning, police were called to Liberty Street for reports of a man yelling and smashing glass. Mere seconds after Detective Carly Travis arrived on scene, 52-year-old Winston Tate can be seen charging at the officer while holding what appears to be a hammer. Stop. According to court documents, Tate hit Detective Travis in the shoulder, knocking them both to the ground. Witnesses say that's when Tate got on top of the officer and appeared to strike her again with the hammer. Fox 61 has decided not to show the video after this point because it's too graphic. However, in the body cam video, Detective Travis can be heard yelling for Tate to stop and drop the weapon before she fires her service weapon hitting Tate. Kenneth Gray, a former FBI agent and senior lecturer of criminal justice and homeland security at the University of New Haven, says Detective Travis had no other choice but to use deadly force. De-escalation is a great way to try to lower the, ten, uh, the intensity of an interaction with somebody that is not acting rationally. However, de-escalation would not work in this case because she didn't have time to do anything other than save her life. Tuesday morning, Tate appeared before a judge while still in a hospital gown. Behind him rose the Middletown police officers who were there to show support for Detective Travis. Tate's attorney telling the judge that he has mental health challenges stemming from his time in the U.S. Army. During a press conference Tuesday afternoon, Middletown Police Chief Eric Costa said Tate is known to the police. Court documents say police have responded to Tate's address four times this year alone, including twice the night before the shooting, describing his behavior as manic, argumentative, and uncooperative. Chief Costa also praising Detective Travis, saying she did the right thing and has the department's full support. At the end of the day, um, we believe that she's strong and uh, she needs to be noted as, as a heroine, obviously. And Tate is being held on an $850,000 bond. Now, Middletown police say that Detective Travis is at home resting and recovering from minor injuries that she sustained while in the scuffle. Now, we want to mention that this investigation is being led by the Office of the Inspector General. That being said, the Office of the Inspector General currently is investigating eight other officer-involved shootings across the state dating back to last fall. Live in Middletown, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.